So in this video, we are going to learn how you can use custom domain in Pavli subscription billing. So Pavli subscription billing offers a feature using which you can use custom domain in your PSP account for your payment pages, thank you pages, shareable invoice link, client portal URL, and also for affiliate portal URL. Now in this video, we will see what is the step-by-step -step process to connect or use your custom domain, your domain in your PSP account. So here you can see we are under the setting section of PSB and we have selected this custom domain setting. After selecting this, the first thing it asks us is to enter your custom domain. So whatever custom domain you are willing to create, willing to use in PSB, you have to select that particular domain. You have to enter that domain. Let's say I want my domain to be payments.satish.work. So this is the custom domain which I want to use right now in my PSP account. This is the subdomain and this is the actual domain over here. You can basically create or use any domain which you have. Now after entering this custom domain over here, just click on this map custom domain button over here. After clicking on map custom domain, here are some steps, here are some instructions which we have to follow. So what we have to do, we have to basically create a C name and the record in our custom domain account. And also what we have to do, we have to switch our custom domains name server to Cloudflare. So don't worry, it's not a technical process at all. Any user can do this with this step-by-step -step guide which we are going to show you. So let's see. The first thing after this which we have to do is to go to the platform from which we have basically purchased our custom domain. So let's say I have purchased my domain from GoDaddy. So we are going to go to our GoDaddy account in which we have purchased our custom domain. And after going to that platform, what we have to do, we will go to the DNS section. We will go to the DNS settings. And then after going to the DNS settings, we will go to the name servers over here. After coming to the name server section, here you will see the default name server of your platform. Like right now you can see this is the default name server of my GoDaddy account for my custom domain for this particular domain. Now what we have to do, first we have to change the name servers of this domain to the Cloudflare's name server. Now why we are using Cloudflare? Because Cloudflare offers free SSL and Pavli subscription billing only supports the SSL or domains connected on your Cloudflare account. So that is why what we have to do, we have to basically switch to Cloudflare. We have to change the DNS to Cloudflare from this, from your GoDaddy or any other vendor using which you have purchased your custom domain. Now the process of changing the name server is also very simple. Just click on this change name server button. And after that, here you can see right now we are on the GoDaddy name server, which is recommended, but we have to select, I'll use my own name server option. And then it is asking us for the name server one and name server two. Now here guys, we have to enter the name servers given by Cloudflare. But how we will get this name server in our Cloudflare account? Let me show you. So first of all, what you have to do, if you already have a Cloudflare account, it's well and good. If not, you can just create a Cloudflare account for free very easily. And after creating your Cloudflare account and login into it, we will just click on this get started button. So this is the website page. This is the dashboard of our Cloudflare account. Just click on this get started button. And after clicking on get started, the first thing it asks us is to enter our domain. Now here guys, what we have to do, we have to enter our domain name over here. So my domain name is this, satis.work. And after entering your domain over here, just click on continue. After clicking on continue, here Cloudflare is asking us to select a plan. There are three plans over here, pro, business, or enterprise. But instead of all of these plans, what you can do, you can go with the free plan as well. So we are going to just select this free plan and click on continue once again. Now, after clicking on continue here, it is basically scanning for existing DNS record. So on whatever platform you will be having your existing DNS, like right now we have on GoDaddy, it is scanning that. And after scanning the DNS here, it is showing us the DNS record for satis.work. So whatever DNS, whatever C names or subdomains you have created for your domain previously, you will see all of that over here. Now here guys, what we have to do, we have to basically create a new C name in our Cloudflare account. So here it is written in the steps that we have to go to the DNS management page and then we have to add a C name record over here. 
and we have to send or point this CNAME record to custom.pabli.com. So what will be your CNAME? Your CNAME will be the subdomain which you want to use in your custom domain. So this is my custom domain payments.satish.org and payments this particular term is my subdomain. So we have to use this particular word, this particular term, whatever you want to use as subdomain in CNAME. So to add a CNAME, we will get back to Cloudflare and click on this add record button. After clicking on add record, the first thing it asks us is the type. So here in type from this drop down, we are going to select C name and then it is asking us for the name. So here in name, we have to enter the name of our C name record or our subdomain. For example, our C name will be payments. So this will be my subdomain. That's why I'm entering that particular word, that particular term in this name section. Then it is asking us for the target. Now here this instruction says that we have to point this subdomain, this C name to this target that is custom.pabli.com. So we will be entering the target as custom.pabli.com. And after that, here comes the most important part for which we are switching our name servers to Cloudflare and that is proxy status. So a lot of users usually turn off this button and use this DNS only proxy. So what we have to do, we have to ensure that the proxy status of this particular C name in our Cloudflare account is active. We have to ensure this particular button is active and we are using the proxy status by Cloudflare. It is very important step. And after doing this, just click on C. Now, as we click on C, we will see a new C name is just now added for our domain over here. So in the DNS record, you can see just now we have added this C name. We have added this subdomain over here. Now, after entering your C name, after creating this C name, adding this C name, what we have to do, we will just click on this continue button. After clicking on continue here in the next step, it is asking us to change our name server. So it has automatically detected that we have the domain in our GoDaddy account and these are our existing name servers. So as you can see, these are our existing name servers which we are using. But now we have to change these name servers to these two name servers given by Cloudflare. So we will just copy this name server name over here and then we will just paste it over here. So let's paste the name server one. And after that, copy this name server two and then paste it over here as well. After entering both the name servers, just click on this save button in our GoDaddy account. After clicking on save, once again, it will ask us for the confirmation. Just click on continue. And as we click on continue, here we have successfully updated the name servers or DNS record of our custom domain, which we will be having. So we are having the custom domain in GoDaddy. So here we have successfully updated that. Now let's refresh this page once and check it. So we'll just refresh it. We'll go to the DNS section. And then after DNS, we'll go to the name server section. And yes, here you can see we have the same name servers which were given by Cloudflare. We have basically updated the name servers of our custom domain over here. Now, after updating the name servers in GoDaddy or any platform in which you are having the custom domain, what we have to do, we will get back to Cloudflare and click on this done and check name server button. After clicking on this, here are some steps. So what we are going to do in this section, we will just click on this get started button and we will go with all the default values. Just click on the save button three times and at last it is showing us the summary. So just click on this finish button. So we will just go with the default settings and it is done. The process of setting up this custom domain, switching it, the name servers to Cloudflare is completely done. Now we will just scroll down and here you can see this is option of check name servers. So we have initiated the transfer of name servers, the change of name servers for our domain. But we have to check that whether it is completed or not. So just click on this check name server button and after clicking on it, it is actually checking it. But what we have to do, we have to just wait for a few hours or few minutes to update, to get it updated. So basically what happens, it may take up to 24 hours to process the name server updates globally. So it is not an instant process like you have updated the name servers and your subdomain, your custom domain will be available in your Pabli subscription billing account. After updating the name servers, it might take up to 24 hours at max to update the name servers. And after updating the name servers, this custom domain can be used 
in our Pabli subscription billing account. Now, how you will know that your custom domain is updated, your name servers are updated. Either you can check it from your Cloudflare account or what you can do, get back to your PSP account and click on this submit and verify button. Now, as we click on submit and verify, it has not given us any error. This means our name servers are successfully transferred. So usually it takes a few minutes, but at max, it may take up to 24 hours to change or update the name server. And here you can see it has now verified and this custom domain is now added in our Pabli subscription billing account. We will be using this custom domain of payments.satish.work. Now let's check it. What we are going to do, we will just go to the product section and we will open a checkout page for one of our products. So we'll just open the checkout page. And yes, here you can see that at the checkout page in the URL section, this is the custom domain which we have connected just now. This custom domain is used over here. That is payments.satish.work. Now, all over your PSP account, this particular custom domain will be used on this your checkout page, on thank you page, on your client portals, on, on your affiliate portals, on all of your platforms. So in this way, you can set up or you can add custom domains in your PSP account. Now, let's make a test payment and we will check the same custom domain, whether this custom domain is shown on the thank you page or not. So we'll just select the states and country. We will be just making a test payment. Let's select success, the test card, and click on complete order. Now, as we click on complete order, just now we made a test order. We have placed a test order. And after making the test order here, this is the thank you page. And on the thank you page itself, you can see this custom domain is available. The thank you page is on this particular custom domain, which we have just now added. This means this custom domain is now successfully added. And now after this, this custom domain will be used in our Pabli subscription billing account.